What's up guys and girls, it's me GameShark and welcome back to another video. Today I am giving you the ultimate fishing guide for Graveyard Keeper. I will show you how and where to catch every single fish in the game by giving you their specific locations and the certain equipment that you will need to require for each of them and also making you mega amounts of money during the progress. Firstly, I will explain how fishing works in itself and discuss the basics which will give you a better understanding. And then we will get into how and where to catch all of the fish with the free rods in the game from every location. So firstly, to begin fishing you'll need to purchase a rod from the lighthouse keeper. Completing his tasks will earn you a simple rod at the beginning. Once you have a rod, simply approach any of the fishing spots in the game and cast out a line. Fishing itself is a mini game. Click while the ring appears to start fishing and release to cast your line out to that point. Occasionally the bobber will twitch and you'll lose energy. Click in that window to hook a fish. After that you need to keep the bar over the fish to reel it in, just like Stardew Valley. What types of fish you can catch and in what quantity depend on the time of the day, which fishing spot you choose and what you use for bait. Once you have hooked into a fish you cannot lose it no matter how hard the fight is. Also the time in the game for fully stops whilst fishing as long as the line is in the water, meaning you can fish all day every day and catch unreal amounts of fish and just from telling you all of that means that you can get rich very quick and make mega amounts of money just by fishing. It's literally one of the best ways to make money and it is my personal favourite thing to do. But just be aware that fishing does use energy. Every single cast requires between 1 to 3 energy depending on the rod you are using and every bite that you miss also takes energy from you. So make sure to bring lots of food on your fishing trips because at the start you will only be using the simple rod which has a very bad efficiency taking free energy per cast and every missed bite and you will miss lots of bites trust me at the start so energy will deplenish quickly the type of fishing rod that you use can heavily influence what kinds of fish you catch as well as the quality of those fish there are a total of five fishing spots in graveyard keeper with 16 species to catch and certain fish can only be found in one or two of those spots the five locations in the game are the village the northerly part of the village is a small pond with a fishing pier. There is the sea. The sea requires you to travel east all the way through the village to the beach. There's the waterfall. The waterfall can be found by travelling directly north after crossing the bridge west of the graveyard. There is the swamp. The swamp is found across the stone bridge to the west of the graveyard. The fishing spot is south of the witch's hut. And then there is the river. After removing the blockage northwest of your house, you can access this spot by going northwest through the forest. Now, while fish might be available to be caught with a certain kind of bait in a specific place with a specific rod or at a particular time of the day, it may not be optimal. Baits are in order of preference by the fish. Note that just because a bait is more preferred by a fish does not mean you will be more likely to catch it necessarily. The percentage chance of a fish is based on the other fish in that area, which means it can be highly varied based on time of the day, location, cast range, your choice of the rod and the bait used. So that is the basics of fishing and how it works. And now I'm going to go into more detail and show you where to find all of these species and how to catch them easily for you to master fishing, earn lots of money and earn all of the achievements. So firstly we will start with the simple rod that every single player will start with. I will show you what fish that you can catch with only using this rod in all of the fishing locations. Starting in the sea. Using a simple rod in the sea will allow you to catch two of the 16 species, which are the anchovies and the eels. You can catch these fish with or without bait at any time of the day. The percentage will differ slightly depending on the bait and the time of the day, but you will easily catch these fish with no problems. As you can see now quickly on the screen, this is what the fishing screen looks like. It will show you all of the fish in this area that are available to catch and their percentage that you can catch them, depending on the bait and the time. If there are any fish you have not caught yet, these will show up as a question mark and will only unlock its percentage catch rate once you have the specific rod or bait that's required. Throughout this video though you will see all of the fish unlocked for me as I have caught and found them all. 
Well, that is apart from one stupid bloody thing, which I will get into at the end of the video. Now moving on to the village spot with the simple rod. Here you will find three new species of fish and they are the gudgeons, the tilapias and frogs. You can see the percentages on my screen now as I change through the baits. This will give you an idea on how to catch these the best possible way. But most of these fish will require bait such as butterflies, moths and maggots. You can find moths and butterflies by just collecting flowers around the mat and you can get maggots from making pleat at the compost but only once you have unlocked the blueprints for them. Moving on to the river location and using the simple rod here will unlock one new species only and that is the bream and here are the percentages and baits required on screen now. The next spot is the waterfall. The simple rod will catch three species here, two being the bream and the gudgeons which can be caught in the other spots as well, but you will also find a new fish here which is the perch. The last spot, the swamp. Using the simple rod here you will catch tilapias, eels and frogs which all can be caught at other spots in the map too. One thing that you do need to know about the swamp though, you can catch all of the available fish here with just the simple rod. The new rods will not find any new fish at the swamp, but will give you better qualities. Now let's get into more detail and let me show you what fish that you can catch using the great rod. This is sold by the lighthouse keeper once you have tier 2 unlocked with him, which once selling all of your fish to him will be unlocked super quick. And the great rod will cost 3 silver. This rod gives you better efficiency reducing the energy cost per cast. Now back to the sea, with this great rod you will find 3 new species of fish and they are the sardines which you can easily catch using maggots at close range. You will also find salmon. I find that using maggots at medium range will give you a better percentage to catch these. And the last new fish is the tuna. The tuna is a harder fish to catch but will sell for good money. And the best way to catch this is by using no bait at all at medium range. But of course there are other ways to catch these fish, just take a look at your percentages and choose your option. This all depends on the time of the day and the bait you are using. Let's go over to the village though, using the great rod here we'll find you one new fish only and that is the silver crucian. You can catch these with silver steel lures, which are sold only by the fishermen. Down at the river you will find two new fish with the great rod and that is the sturgeon which can be caught best using moths at far range and the other fish is the pike. Maggots at far range are best to catch these. Both of these fish are great selling fish and this is the point where you will start earning lots of money. Moving down to the waterfall though, here you will find two fish which are the sturgeon and salmon which both can be caught also at other spots but using steel lures as bait works best for the salmon here and the moths work best for the sturgeons. Just make sure to look at the percentages depending on your time and day and bait of course. And lastly the swamp, of course this will not bring you any new fish but just the ones you can catch with the old rod but just better quality. Now let's get into the exciting part, the excellent rod. This is the best rod in the game that you can get, which will find you brand new species at even better quality, making you earn unreal amounts of money. And in order to get this rod, you just simply need to be level 3 tier with the fisherman, which can be done super easy guys. Just keep buying bait from him and laws and sell every single fish that you catch and it will unlock in no time. 
The excellent rod costs 5 silver and it will give you amazing efficiency, only using 1 energy per cast and missed by. So in the village location, this excellent rod will not find you any new fish unfortunately. You can only find the same fish from caught by the good rod. But down at the river, using the excellent rod, you will find one new species and this one is a hard one to catch. That being the Gold Crucian. This fish gives you a hard battle and can only be caught using live bait, which are the anchovies and gudgeons. The percentage is not very high, only being 9% chance to catch at night and a 16% chance in the day. Of course, daytime being better, so this may take a while to catch, but once you do, it will be the best quality and sell for lots of money. You will also earn an achievement after catching your first one. In the waterfall, you will also find a new fish with the excellent rod, and this is my personal favourite, the carp. This fish can be caught using maggots, moths, butterflies and lures. Carps are very greedy fish, what can I say? But the best way to catch these, for me, is either using butterflies at near range, maggots at medium range and no bait at all for the far range. Using them baits at them spots will give you 100% chance to catch in the daytime though. Selling high quality carps will bring you lots of money, trust me. Now my friends, the last spot using the excellent rod, which of course is the sea, and by far the toughest one to catch. Here you will find lots of tuna and sardines at really high quality, which will give you a battle, but you'll also find one new fish, and this is the goldfish. The only one that I have not caught yet, as you can see on the screen, this fish is unbelievably hard to catch. You can only catch the goldfish using gold lures with a gem, and the percentage is so, so low. Being a petty 2% chance to catch in the daytimes at far range only, and only a small 5% at nighttime at far range. The percentage will not go higher, no matter what you do. So this is just pure luck. Keep casting at night using the gold lure bait, and hopes to god that you get one. I honestly have spent hours and hours trying to catch this little shit. I have lost count. Each gold lure with a gem costs 5 silver each. 5 silver! Which is the only thing this stupid fish will eat. Also, if you didn't know, the lures have durability too, so they can only catch you around 15 to 20 fish before they break. That's more or less, meaning you need to buy a new one. And so far guys, I have purchased like 8 gold lures trying to catch this goldfish, which has cost me a total of 40 silver, and I still do not have this fish yet. It's going to take a long time. It requires lots of patience, lots of broken keyboards, lots of energy, and lots of money. So be prepared. This is the last fish that you need to complete the collection, and it's the toughest one. Also, you will get another achievement for catching this fish, so good luck. But I think that's it guys, every single fish that you can catch in the game by using all three rods, of course each rod will catch different fish and different qualities, in every single location in the game as well using every bait possible. I hope you found this helpful in some way, if you did please hit the like button, I know fishing can be quite confusing when you first get into it, it took me a while to get my head around it as well, but hitting that like button is much appreciated guys, it lets me know that my guides are worth making. This video has took me a long time to make because I started at the beginning on a new save and I've worked my way up just for this video so if you are a master angler and have caught the goldfish already just subscribe to me to prove it because I don't believe you <laughs> but I'm gonna end that one there anyway guys my fishing guide in graveyard keeper thanks for watching it's been me the king of the sea and I'll see, and I'll you, see you on the next, next video, video.
never want to see a goldfish ever, ever again. again. Mm -mm.